And I'm probably going to pick these up. These are fat. They're in really nice shape. This is like never used. No, nope. and it's triple ply. It's three layers. Yeah. Now, why is that important to go with single ply, double ply, triple ply? Um, well, for durability. Okay. Right? So, so triple ply is going to last longer. Right. It's going to be noisier. Right. Uh, the less layer there is, the quieter it is. Oh, okay. But this will last longer. Oh, well, and it's all about durability because we don't yeah. care about making noise because, well, everyone knows when the wogs are coming. Now, these zippers, are they going to go on me or what? Nope, they're heavy duty. Oh, really? Oh, wow, look at that. That's sexy. Very nice. Very nice. And then you, you can zip those up so you can get them on over top your boots. Yep. Nice. So if I was going to throw these on right now, can I do that? Because I'm, I'm, I'm dressed how I would be outside right now. It starts to rain. I go yeah, in my bag. Let's check the size first. Make sure oh. they fit them. Fit you. 170? Yeah, that'll fit. You think so? Oh, yeah. You're skinny. I've lost weight. Okay, hang on. Oh, look at that. Bing, bang, boom. And I'm wearing Group 4 Danners, which is a pretty big boot. There you go. Drop your Just pants. like that. And you throw on your other leg and you're good to go. Yeah. Okay, so this, these have got three layers of Gore-Tex. They fit me perfectly. I can store them. They go inside my butt pack. And the price tag here says 80 bucks. Now, it's three layers of Gore-Tex. What would you pay for something like this that is an army surplus? You can triple the price if that had a name brand on it. Triple the price. What if it was like a really big name brand? Well, if that was like a if, big uh, North name... Face or something like that. Oh, you'd probably pay four or 500 bucks. Really? And is it a better piece of kit or is this a better piece of this kit? This is a better piece of kit. Well, then there you go. That's It'll what you last. do. And then you don't, you don't have to worry about all the, the, the mind share that you get from that bullshit company. So, what about when we get past the surplus stuff and we actually are buying the new stuff? Because it's not surplus, but it is surplus. Like, some, some of these pants got NATO stock numbers in it, but they're new and civvies can buy them. How does that work? Um, basically, anybody can, even with a NATO number, you can still own it. You oh, can really? Buy it. Oh, yeah. It's, we order them in. It's no big deal. You can totally tell has a NATO number in it. Now, the NATO stock number, that's how uh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization tracks all of their gear, right? So if yeah. you order a stock piece, that's the stock number they go with. Yeah. So it'd be interesting if we could, if any of the WOGs out there can get their hands on a, because you can apparently get a catalog that has all the NATO stock numbers in it. Yep. You can look up any database on any NATO stock number and get the, the, the number of kit as well as the identification for it, which is cool. You can do it on the web, too. You'll sometimes get hits. If you find a piece of gear with a NATO stock number, you can look at it. But anyway, so these pants, now, which, in, in the land of these pants, what are we buying? If we're buying new we're buying online what do we want to go with well it depends if you're down south you want to go with the ribstop with the ribstop why yeah, because it's lightweight oh, okay the yeah, downside light. to ribstop is after you wash it a few times yeah the lines come through the material oh those no those little lines but they're a lighter pant oh okay and basically all ribstop is therefore is snagging so if and and so if you rip like a little square, it'll just fray out that yep. one square. Yeah. Okay. Now the thing is though, so these these kind of wear out a little faster. Is that yep. what you're telling me here? Sixty four forty. Sixty forty is the way to go. Okay. So what so what are we looking at? That sixty forty in right here. here we have hit. Okay. And this is made by Proper. Yep. Okay. And uh, who uses this? Well, that's a U.S. Okay, so any of the SWAT teams could be using it. Anybody. Anybody yeah. could be using this thing. And it's an issue. It's an issue piece of kit. we got the washing instructions, plain as day right there, which is good to see. And uh, now, what could, would you say this is a pretty good pant? Like it's with an this? awesome. Really? Awesome pant. Yep. Really? Yeah. So it'll totally stand up to what you can dish Takes out to it. Takes a beating. Okay, and what's the price on this? Oh, it's 50 bucks. Jeez, a set of new jeans usually runs you, especially if it's name brand, it's like, what, $130? So sometimes it's worth it to buy new because used is only $10 cheaper. Well, okay then. Well, if that's the case, unless it's like some weird specialty yeah, stuff. Yeah, unless probably it's something to... like Australian or Czechoslovakian. And check out the selection of brand new pants you guys got. Holy Tiger shit. Tiger straight. Everything. Up to Marpat, Cat Pad, everything. Desert Digital. You name it. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, well, what about the, uh, like, when it comes to camo patterns, what do you think would be, it would be pretty handy? But bear in mind, everyone is going to be wearing this. So what would you suggest if someone was going to, had to choose on a pattern that would go with anything, you know, for personal fashion? Personal fashion? I say do cad pad. Cad pad? Yeah. Canadian pattern? That's the ones that the Canadians invented, isn't it? Yeah, and then the Americans stole it and created Marpat. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, actually, is this, is this cad pad here? Yep, and it's actually made by Proper. And it's made by Proper. Wow, so you get all the durability in a... Now, how does... you know how CAD Pat works? Like, why this camouflage is different than mine? Like, you look at mine, you look at this. It's digital, so it's meant to trick your eyes. So as long as you don't move a lot, 
you won't see a lot of movement except for flesh. Oh, so this has been designed to actually deceive your eyes by the way yep. your eyes see. Yep. Oh, wow. So if you were in the bush, this would be the way to go. Yep, as long as you're moving slowly. As long as you're free. Yeah, well, number one reason I'm yeah. Pick up. yeah, wow, sweet. Okay, well, what about, is there anything for urban? Is there like an urban campat? Cat well, this is not yet. Not yet. So not this yet. is this is bleeding edge stuff. How old is this? This is only a couple years old. This has only been around. It's eh? only really been issued a year and a half, two years. So this is the bleeding edge stuff. This is what you know. Who's who in the zoo is going to be. Hand, everybody's yep. going to be wearing this. This is the quick. new marine marpat. Which is oh, they thought this up all by themselves, did they? Yeah. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, as long as it saves lives, who gives a shit? Okay, but uh, oh, and these ones are. Uh, those are actual Canadian issues. Wow. Cool. So these ones would be good for the... Uh, but they're the same material as the wind pants, so they're a little thinner. So, yeah, so it would be good if you're down it'd, south. It'd be, yeah, but if you want something that's going to last, go with the proper. Okay, so that's if I'm material. in the bush. What if I'm inner city and I want to make sure that I got something that's, uh, that's going on? I guess you go with black. You could go with black or you could go with night. Yeah, that's a little bit more subdued, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? And that, that seems... Does this pattern actually work? Because I've seen this a lot. I don't know if it really works. No, it's... It's mostly fashion or what? Pretty much. Snowboarders. Right. Snowboarders. Tight. But the thing is, is now that you have all this data, you have to listen to yourself using your own experiences to make the decision that's right for you. It's really important, man. I'm sorry. I got to do this. But uh, we were going to film a whole bunch of stuff today, Sean. Yeah, uh, that soap's really important, man. You gotta, soap. You got to be clean, man. It's like cleanliness next to godliness, man. If you can't stay clean, there's no point. You know, so I'm not interested in... Uh, well, I drove. So, sorry, dude. Uh. So you say you gotta know why the world goes around And you can't find the truth in the things you've found And you're scared shitless cause evil abounds Come join us